afternoon, everyone. Welcome to the press conference with a coach from Cameroon, Eno Gachu, and the player, uh, Gabriel Abdi. Um, uh, thank you for coming. Uh, so to start, you have been looking forward for this game against Japan. Any expectations for tomorrow's game? It is a dream come true, playing against the champion. I think uh, it's going to be another, uh, another experience for the Cameroon national team. We know it's going to be very tough. But I think the best team will win tomorrow. Any questions now for the coach? We open the floor. It's a question for the coach. The Japanese media were had lots of questions for their coach about how they would cope with your forward line. It seems that the Japanese are, are actually quite worried about your strikers. How pleasing is that for you to hear? <laughs> We are also worried about the strikers of the Japanese team. We are also worried about how the Japanese team defend. I think uh, I can never be happy because uh, maybe uh, the Japanese are afraid of my striker. No, I'm instead I'm instead angry because uh, the Japanese uh, defended very well. We don't really know what to do with such a defense. Also angry because uh, they have very good strikers, very swift attackers. Any other questions? Hi. For the, uh, the coach, uh, you've been the coach of the team since 2004, correct? And this is the first World Cup. To finally make a World Cup as a coach and bring your country here, what did it mean to you to have a game like that for your first game? Um... Remember the last time I said um, our main objective was to do better than 2012. And I said uh, during the last Olympic Games in London, we considered 11 goals, scored only one, we had three defeats. We have been working with this group uh, for the past um, seven years, they've been together. They started with the under 17. And today, I think, uh, after the game against Ecuador, they have started dreaming. But we need to be humble. We have attained our objective. And we've gained a bit of experience compared to the other countries like uh, Switzerland, like Japan. So, um, football, football is full of surprises. If we can create a surprise by going to the next round, then it's going to be very fine. And I believe uh, if we do that, it's going to have uh, a positive impact back in Cameroon. Um, from the feedback we've been getting, many young girls have started playing soccer. I think that is a, that is a target. That is a target for the, for the individual lionesses of Cameroon. And just one follow-up. Uh, have, have you spoken to many people back in your country, and what kind of reaction, what did it mean to have that result? They were quite excited. For our first game, everybody was happy. Um, but you must understand that the game is over. We have Japan in front of us, and uh, President, we are concerned about However, everybody was happy. We received many encouraging letters back home. Uh, for, for Gabrielle, uh, the team played with so much uh, joy and passion in the first game. Um, how important is that mentality for you guys against Japan, not to be nervous, to try and enjoy the moment, uh, to play your best football? How important is that? Je dirais que d'abord nous sommes très contents de participer à cette Coupe du Monde. Et si nous jouons avec tant d'enthousiasme, c'est parce que nous nous sommes fixés des objectifs. C'est d'être mieux, de faire mieux qu'en 2012. Parce que nous, nous, nous estimons que nous avons déjà acquis un peu d'expérience et nous voulons aussi créer une petite surprise dans ce mondial. Donc, nous, sommes, nous restons beaucoup plus concentrés et d'abord le football c'est un jeu et nous prenons tout cela, tout cela d'abord comme un jeu. Any other questions? This is 
for the coach. You told us on Monday after the game, in your mind, Japan is the best team, and you said it again. Um, so, for the um, after the this uh, two three days, you practice and have a game plan. How confident are you to defeat the Japanese team? As I said, um, we are excited to play against Japan, and for us, Japan so far is the best in the world. My guests are excited. The over the past years, they've been watching the Japanese team over the TV. And today, most of them can recite the names of the Japanese players. It's just like a PlayStation. They will be playing against the best team in the world. They are quite excited. So I think uh, we don't have pressure on our side. The Japanese will be having that pressure. We don't have any pressure. We shall play as usual. And uh, if we can have a positive reply, um, uh, result, then fine for, for the Nobuti Lionesses. Any other questions? Thanks. Uh, for, for both, I, I read that uh, Patrick Umboma was in, in camp. How did that come about? Did you invite him? Or, and, and also for Gabriel, what did it mean for the players to have him around? Patrick is an icon in Cameroon. And uh, we invited him. Uh, from France. He came here and uh, as an icon, a player who has a lot of experience concerning not only World Cup, but African Nations Cup. He was also a professional player. We needed him to share that experience with the players. We needed him to tell us how to manage the World Cup pressure. I think he did a good job and uh, we're quite happy because uh, today um, we have the fruits. We won our first game. And uh, I think uh, Patrice did a great job. And uh, I want to use this opportunity to thank him. Uh, it is true that he also sent us some mails to congratulate us. That we should keep on. Do we have one answer to the question? Well, uh, oui. Uh, Patrick, est venu nous rendre visite, uh, Patrick lors came de to visit us uh, while we prepared. Et, uh, Il nous a donné beaucoup de conseils and he parce gave us a lot of advice. Il nous disait, la coupe du monde, c'est pas une coupe d'Afrique. The World Cup Et is not the same as the Il nous a par the, parlé uh, beaucoup Africa plus aux attaquants de comment uh, filer le but. Et and je crois que vu uh, le premier match, uh, game, nous avons essayé de mettre ses conseils en pratique. Really to, uh, Et c'est la raison pour laquelle nous, avons, nous sommes restés disciplinés pendant ce match et mettre autant de buts. Donc je profite de l'occasion pour lui dire un grand merci. I'm, I'm going to use this opportunity to say thank you to him, and we're going to keep following his advice. Uh, question to Mr. Coach. Uh, as you said, uh, in London Olympic 2012, your team conceded a lot of goals, five goals, three goals, three goals. So aren't you anxious about your defense? And how did you improve the defense of your team in these days? Yeah. Um, uh, after each game, as a coach, you must always go back to your drawing board, see what went wrong. And we discovered that in 2012, um, we made many tactical errors. Everybody was young, the players, the staff, the, the, the technical staff was also discovering uh, such, such, such a wonderful competition where we played against the best in the world, we made many tactical errors. And um, from 2011, we had to work back very hard. We wanted to insist on defending first before attacking. And we are quite happy because uh, even during the last Nations Cup, we considered less goals. And uh, we had the best goalkeeper of the tournament. So it means we've improved a lot. We can only be happy. Uh, this is a question for mainly coach, but, but both of you. 
With scoring so many goals in the first game, it obviously puts you in a good position to advance no matter what happens now in your next two games. Do you allow yourself to look ahead to what might lie in store later in the tournament for you? Uh, I would say that mentally it is a good thing to score. It shelters us, it protects us a little bit. And as I said earlier, we came here with the objective of doing better than in 2012. And we, uh, we dream of uh, making it uh, out of this first round. We're going to stay focused. So why not keep scoring so that we can uh, advance, exactly. Um, having scored six, everybody in camp must have been thrilled, very happy. How important is it then to get everybody back to concentrating on the job? And the job is to play Japan tomorrow. Um, it, is, it is true that um, at the end, the goals will count. Probably maybe for the best ball, or maybe um, uh, to see the first two. But that game is over. In football, any can, anything can happen. We can also play Japan tomorrow, and we concede eight goals. Remember what happened. Uh, Côte d'Ivoire, uh, Côte d'Ivoire, Germany. Côte d'Ivoire considered ten goals. So that's the reason why I said uh, presently we are focused on the game against Japan, and uh, we know it's going to be a very great game. We hope. Uh, supporters of both teams the game because after all we have to play beautiful football we said it before we have attained our objectives already uh, think uh, we have nothing to prove Japan has to defend its title they are the one to play so bet we shall try also to show the Japanese that we are the vice African champion Uh, one question for Gabriel. Um, what do you think about the defense line of Japan? Uh, I think that it's a very, good, a very mature uh, defense line. Un, un de Berlin, mais it's like the Berlin Wall. Aussi, uh, nous devons, uh, nous allons, uh, de we're going to try to find some solutions in terms mais of uh, breaking through that Berlin Wall. We respect their team because it's the best uh, team in the world. Demain, nous allons essayer de trouver des solutions Tomorrow, comme nous, 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 nous faisons aux entraînements just the way we do it, uh, pour pouvoir training, essayer de contourner in order to be able lorsqu'une défense joue to go around aussi bien au football. When, uh, when somebody has uh, such a good line of defense. For the coach again, uh, having watched Japan play for many years, what impact do you think they have had on women's football generally? Have they raised the standard and the technical expectations for how women's football should be played? Um, I think so. Remember that in 2011, nobody expected Japan to win the World Cup. And uh, according to the information we got from uh, our senior brother, Patrick Boma, who played in Japan, he told us, Japanese football, both men and women, is fast progressing. They've been working very hard for the past years. So the results of the Japanese national team is not a surprise for us. And I think um, it has helped us also to dream. It has helped other countries to dream. If Japan won 2011, why not Sweden? Why not Canada? So, I think um, they're winning in 2011 uh, had an, an important impact in the game of women football in the world. Any other questions? I ask something general about the women's game uh, that people notice. No complaining to referees, no diving, no simulation, no one's rolling around. Why, why do you think that difference is? 
Um, uh, I think it is natural. And uh, the way we manage our teams, we have to make them. I don't want. I don't want to say that we have to make them like robot, but they need to be obedient. They need to respect the laws of the game. Then it makes a difference between male football. They don't play very hard. Um, they respect their opponent. I think the male, male, male football should copy from the women's football because, um, you know, um, uh, physiologically, psychologically, I don't want to say women are the weaker sex, but they, do, they always respect their opponent. Even back home, when you talk to your wife, I think she has to respect you. I don't mean shouting. The way you talk to her, she respects you. That's the reason why um, when women are playing, you can find everything. Technically, they are both men and male teams. Even tactically, they do understand the game very well. Uh, even, as I said, the respect of the rules. Very important. They respect it. You halify women insulting women. You halify women. Tackling women severely. So I think... Um, it might be natural. It might also do. It might also be the way you manage your team. Any other questions? Well, thank you so much for coming, and thank you, Coach and Gabriel. Thank you so much. <laughs>